distributing harmful matter to minors. The charge arose from a poster by H.R. Giger, which is included in the Dead Kennedys album, Frank and Christ. Now, back home in San Francisco, Biafra held a press conference. It's a small but important victory. Um, a lot of people were alerted to this issue by the fact that we chose to fight this case as publicly as we did, but um, <laughs> they shouldn't take this as uh, the, the end to all assaults on our uh, individual rights and the First Amendment of the Constitution. I hope this has helped make it a little more politically unpopular for uh, people in law enforcement positions to uh, pull this kind of a stunt, but uh, sooner or later, I'm afraid something like this may happen to somebody else, too, so we all have to continue to stay on our toes. Biafra gave an example of just how fast the censorship bug can spread. Because of a new law in North Carolina, sex education has been restricted in schools, Nude paintings have been removed from a college campus gallery, and you can't even rent a, rent a passage to India on video. Frank and Christ has had its sins forgiven, but all over America, freedom of expression is still on trial. I ask everybody who took an interest in this case to please not forget the issue itself, because we're going to have to fight it our entire lives. People who thought this was over after Joe McCarthy croaked were uh, more than a little wrong. <laughs> As long as there are uptight people with no sense of humor who seem preoccupied with enforcing their own personal taste through the judicial system and their own uptight morals or lack thereof through the judicial system, it's going to make people like us necessary. The essential Jello Biafra. He wants to thank all of you who contributed to the No More Censorship Defense Fund. Right now, they're only $12,000 short of the $62,000.